if you own one of the eligible iOS 18 iPhone models. Here is how to download it when the time comes. Hello, I'm Mr. Mobility. iOS 18 is off here. It is one of the most exciting updates coming to Apple's mobile operating system in a long time. And it brings customization features and options that moves iPhones closer to Android phones in, in terms of how much you can play around with your device and make it yours. We already know that any iPhone model older than the iPhone XS, XS Max, or XR is not eligible for iOS 18. So if you own an iPhone X, an iPhone 8 series, an iPhone 7 series, an iPhone 6 series, sorry, you're not going to be getting iOS 18. But if you own any of the XS and XR models and newer, then you're eligible for it. If you have one of those devices, and you do not have automatic updates enabled on your iPhone, then you have to manually check for the update and manually download it. But if you already have automatic updates enabled on your iPhone, you have nothing to worry about. Just wait till September. When the update starts rolling out, it's going to arrive on your phone. Your phone will download it, prompt you, install it and restart. But if you do not have automatic updates enabled on your phone for whatever reason, here's what to do. First, if you can, and I recommend that you do, back up your iPhone to the cloud, back it up somewhere. However you choose to do that is fine. Secondly, make sure that your iPhone is fully charged or at least close to 100, maybe 80, 70, maybe even 60% battery charge. Because if your battery charge is low, the update process will not go through. With that out of the way, open the settings app on your iPhone. Tap General. Select Software Updates you will see the currently installed version of iOS on your phone and whether an update is available. If the iOS 18 update is available, tap download and install. If your iPhone asks you for your passcode, enter it in, agree to terms and conditions and the download will start. When the download is completed, oh, make sure you are on a Wi-Fi connection on some form of unlimited plan or a massive data plan so that you do not run out of data from the download. When the download is completed, your phone will reboot. As a matter of fact, I think it will reboot twice or thrice, if I remember very well, in the course of downloading and installing. But when it's done, you will have a brand new looking interface on your iPhone that you can play with more than ever before. Let me know whenever you update your iPhone. How did the process go? How is iOS 18? Take care.